Bax came out of the work of a social justice organization called Asian Americans United. And AAU's approach for the last 35 years has been, if we want a more just society, we have to be training and nurturing new generations of leaders who are gonna care for their communities. To really make change, to make our society more fair, better. We have to start breaking down these divisions between people of different races, ethnicities, between immigrants and non-immigrants, between English speakers, non-English speakers. And so we deliberately set about to create a multi-ethnic and multi-racial school and one where there's native English speakers and English learners together. So we're gonna start off our morning meeting with a greeting like we always do. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Adala. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Good morning, Serena. Good morning, Good morning. So at FACS, um, we are very intentional of how we built the school community, so we begin every morning, K to 8th, with something called morning meeting. And during morning meeting, it's a time for students to be involved in their classroom community, and it's a chance and opportunity for us to build it in a way where every child feels like they do belong in the school and that they are part of something bigger. One, two, three, in order, in order to be a good student. We also believe that the social curriculum is just as important as the academics, so it's um, important to have a balance of both and that each part is equal to the development of the whole child. We also use folk arts education as a tool for students to understand who they are, their identity, but also to understand that in the broader world that there will be people who are different and to tolerate the differences with empathy. The ritual calendar is part of our folk arts education approach. By making certain observances and celebrations and doing them repeatedly over time, we create a sense of community and identity. It's a way of marking what's important to our school, what we value. On the beat, here we go. Out, out, in, in. We are all making this new school together now. Together we're learning new ways to sing and dance, to do art and play games, to read, write, do math, be kind, listen to each other, change the world. We are all founders. Happy Founders Day. The founding of FACTS, the year 1998. One of our events is called Founders Day. It commemorates the day where FACTS was given our charter, our right from the school district to open our school. So we take that time to celebrate kind of like a birthday party every year, but it's also a time to tell the story of our founding. It took struggle, it took hard work, we had to protest, and so we do a skit, a reenactment. Here are the signatures of the many, many names of people telling you to let us open our school. <laughs> we use it as a chance to also talk to students about each of us can be founders. We can each see a problem, do something about it, and create something new. So it's a chance also to talk to students about that. Today we're gonna to do our pledge a little bit differently. You have so many cultural treasures and we're gonna hear our pledge with those words. We share with students and the staff in a way that they can understand like what was the history of our school? Why is it so precious to us and what do we wanna continue moving forward? What sets us apart is that we do try our best to integrate folk arts into the content areas. For example, we have residencies and guest artists that come and partner with the content teachers. This is a really excellent example of folk arts integration. The eighth grade created these fabrics using Ghanaian adinkra symbols. They made these fabrics that then became the costumes for the second graders in the West African Dance Residency, but they also study these symbols and learn that this is actually a language. And the eighth graders are trying to tell them certain things, like dance with courage and dance together. It's a very integrated program that deepens learning about worldview values that are inherent under any of these folk arts. Once upon a time. Everyone say, once upon a time. Once upon a time. In English, that's how we start 
a story from a long time ago. We have an English language development program just for middle school newcomers, students and children who have just arrived to the States. We believe a program like this, especially at this critical age, is important for students to really develop socially and emotionally and academically. Is the moon full of water? No. no. Oh, your bottle is full. Look at your bottle. That is full. What does it mean for the moon to be full? Our students come from varied backgrounds. Some of our students are refugees. Some students are living with a parent that they didn't know because that parent was here and they were in another place. There's a lot of transition that's happening all at once, which is why we really work hard to make this classroom a safe place because students are dealing with a lot. Just raise your hand. Do you know a folktale about the moon? I think that's something special that we offer at FACS is this idea of folk life education, of ethnographic practice that is not just like, here's a textbook and here's some baby books, but like, here's your world. Let's explore it and name it together. Our belief is that students can do their best learning if they have a sense of feeling good about themselves, if there's a sense of respect for their classmates, if there's a sense of belonging and caring about the school community, that that will all contribute to students doing better as students. We would really argue that public schools could do well to take time to build community and also to make room for creative expression and the arts and the other things that are humanizing. So